Hello everyone. I am excited to show you a project that I'm ashamed to say took me about three weeks to do. But I did go visit my daughter and granddaughter in North Carolina for a few days, so that slowed me up a little bit. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all this. Um, I was inspired actually by Cynthia Luhu. Hi Cindy! because she was making um, the armoires and the uh, vanities and everything out of the chipboard and I thought I want to make something like that so I decided to make an old time upright piano so I'm going to show it to you um, it's all made out of chipboard I decorated the top of it and here's the front. And bust that little picture. I know it's strange to have a picture down there. My daughter said, Mom, you don't put a picture in the bottom of a piano, but I wanted to put a little bit more decoration. When I make another one, I'm going to make it larger for two reasons, so I can decorate the top a little bit more with something, possibly a photo or something. And I didn't do any decorations on the sides other than just the... Um, trim and the back. I just put some trim down there and um, and I did the crackle paint effect which it gave it a shabby chic look I thought. Um, I'm going to do the legs differently next time and I also found out uh, working on it that I can um, improve. This was the first one that I had made so I've got an idea of how to make the assembly easier and I'm also going to make it a little larger. But the fun part is you open it up right here. Now let me put the camera down for just a minute. I've got a good inside. Okay. This little mini book goes on the inside. And I, this is the second one I made to go in it. The first one was way too fat and chunky. So I'm going to make it wider the next time so it can accommodate all the embellishments that I like to use on the inside. So anyhow, this is um, the mini that I made, and I'll just flip through it a little bit. Um, this is only my third video, so girls, bear with me. Um, I just had some fibers and tulle and ribbons on the side, and put some prima flowers and some um, bling and a doily and some appliques. Of a little bit of lace on the sides, and I'm just going to quickly go through this. I, after the pictures go in, it will be a little bit thicker, of course, and you have to kind of squeeze it firmly when you put it in the piano box, but it goes in okay. And this was some old, old paper I had, and I even actually had to use some stickers in it that matched it. And I've got I decorated the tags and I won't go through all of the details or pull all of them out because I don't really know how long this um, camera battery will hold up. I'm just going to flip through it right quickly. This is made out of three paper bags and the covers are chipboard um, front and back. I'm th I like my little kitty cat. Made a little place there where that just slides back in, and I've got the flowers all around that frame. Like I said, I couldn't embellish it the way I wanted to because I had to make it fit inside the box. And of course, each one of these pockets has a envelope pocket has a tag inside, and it's just really a simple album. You, can, you know, th there's room here that you can still put your photo on there, and this is just a sticker and a little bit of flower and a big journaling spot. And so just real simple, plain little mini album and the only thing I did on the back of it, of course I put um, a medium on the front and back to protect it and I just stamped it where I made it and signed it and of course that's all that it is. But tell me what you think. I was so happy with the results of my piano box and I do have this listed on eBay right now so 
I hope it does well. Thank you all for watching.